Hi, Pisces. This is going to be your December 2021 reading. It is going to be general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. So please keep that in mind. Um, I recently uploaded the 2022 tarot forecast. So you may want to check that out. I believe yours was about love and partnership. So that could definitely be a theme coming up in 2022. And doing those readings for the collective actually inspired me to offer a new service to private clients. And guess what that is? It's a 2022 tarot forecast. So I have two options. Um, one is a 45 minute reading and the other is an hour and a half reading. So that's really in depth. I'll go month by month and see you know what the challenges are, what blessings are coming in, what your strengths are. Um, I'll be using a lot of different modalities to bring the messages forth. So if you're interested in that, I am going to pin a comment down below with a link to my website. Um, you can book on there. Uh, you can also subscribe to my newsletter on there. I've also uh, got a link to Wizio down below. I offer shorter readings. They're all pre-recorded and they are um, less than the traditional readings on my website. I'm also going to include links to my social media accounts, uh, Facebook and Instagram, if you're interested in connecting with me there. And you guys, in the description box, I have um, listed the majority of the decks that I use on the channel, along with links next to, next to each one. And those links will take you to my Amazon storefront if you want to browse and purchase any decks. So I am, I've pulled a rune. I want to get some overall messages for you and then we're going to take a look at the past present future energies and i'll be pulling some tarot to get additional messages so we've got this constraint rune that came through for you and this is about constraint and pain so there's some sort of obstacle that you are that is in your path okay that has to be overcome it could be something within you it could be something external to you um, but this is calling for restraint it's not a time to like uh, forge ahead it's um, it's a time to really kind of go within and and figure out the best course of action. Um, we've got the new moon in Libra card for you. This is from the Moonology deck and this is a new romantic cycle begins. I swear your 2022 reading was about partnership. So I feel that um, some of you may be disconnecting from an old love. Um, it's either someone that you're with currently or that you are you are disconnected with, but still energetically connected, like physically disconnected, but energetically connected with. Um, with this new romantic cycle um, beginning and with the constraint rune coming through, um, there could be someone that is on your mind from the past. Um, I feel like there could be two different people here. Um, there could be someone from your past that you are wanting to reach out to or vice versa. And this um, restraint is called for. So I feel like even though a new romantic cycle is beginning, it is, it's not quite time. So this energy, um, this is the energy for December though I'm really feeling like the new romantic cycle is going to happen in 2022. And that is the energy for the collective, you guys. Um, this is a theme that's been coming up for the collective. Um, big shifts are gonna be happening next year and a lot of people are going to meet and be or re reunite, either meet or reunite with their divine partners. So we've got Healer of the Ages coming through. This is amazing. And this is coming through right next to a new romantic cycle begins. Um, 
with these coming through together and the constraint rune with the overall energy, I do feel like there is something within you that needs to be healed before this new romantic cycle can begin. Um, so with Healer of the Ages showing up, this is a deep healing that could come in for you in the month of December. So what I'm kind of getting is that the healing happens and then the new romantic cycle is available to you. Um, if you don't do the healing, if the healing does not happen, then the chances are that you're going to repeat past patterns, okay? So we want you to do this healing. Now we've got Cornucopia, and this is a beautiful card. This has been coming through for so many of the signs um, this year, just the past couple months. This is about blessings coming your way. So this healing is going to bring many blessings in for you. This is um, from the Energy Oracle deck, you guys. And now I'm pulling from the Wisdom Oracle. And this is a bit of a warning to you. Um, we've got this card, All That Glitters, and this has been coming through quite a bit as well. Um, there, there may be a lot of options for love or opportunities in business, something like that. Um, there are so many blessings coming your way, but it's going to be really important to um, pay attention to what comes into your experience. And what this is saying is that all that glitters is not gold. So the shiniest object is not always the most valuable. It's not always um, the one that is best for us. So that is definitely something to pay attention to, Pisces. Now I am pulling from the Quantum Oracle. And we got two cards. We've got this Consciousness of Dark Thoughts and we've got this Commitment card. Uh, so I do feel with these other energies coming through that, yes, you can find love if that's what you're looking for. Um, I do feel like this is mainly a love reading, you guys. Um, and if you are already partnered up, I feel that um, anything between you and your partner uh, that hasn't been in alignment, there's an opportunity to heal that and to get closer, okay? Deepen the connection. Now, with dark thoughts coming through, um, this is really about um, re-experiencing or revisiting anything from the past that um, has been hurtful. And that may make you really hesitant about moving forward in a new romantic partnership. But I do see that there is a commitment that's coming up for you. So this would be in um, 2022. Um, the energy is here now, but just so what I'm feeling is that your angels, your guides are working on this. Um, new romantic partner in the energetic realm, but it does take a while to bring it into the physical realm. Okay, you guys. Um, and the reason that it's um, being a bit delayed is because these dark thoughts, this is something that needs to be healed. It's really about letting go of the past, healing those wounds that make you feel unworthy or unlovable or undeserving, something like that. And, you know, I do feel that there is um, some forgiveness that needs to happen. Um, before this healing can really take place or to facilitate this healing. And you guys, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I want to pull from the Wisdom Oracle deck and just see where there may be a blockage for you. What is coming through? Is there a chakra that needs to be balanced? Oh, interesting. Okay. So it's the seventh chakra, and this is about confusion. 
Um, so the seventh chakra is the crown chakra, and this relates to spirituality, um, connection to those higher powers, to source, to spirit, to the collective. Um, there's something that you are confused about. Um, it may be someone from your past, why things turned out the way they did. What this says is every lining has a cloud. And this is um, the inspiration is through the willingness to be in confusion, we find clarity. There is nothing to solve. Meditation and quiet time will bring clarity. And this says, can I let go of needing an immediate outcome? Um, the key ideas are allowing confusion, spiritual support, consequences of actions, and finding love. And so I do sense that for many of you, yeah, you are looking for love. Um, but there's also a message of really looking at your actions in past relationships and really taking responsibility for those. And if you've been playing the blame game with anybody, it's time to release that and heal that. That's something that's coming up to be healed. Okay. It's about allowing everybody to be who they are, um, on their own journey and not blaming them, just honoring their path. Um, you know, we're all going through our own stuff. We all have our own triggers, our own wounds that we are dealing with. So now I'm using the power, um, the power uh, Archangel Tarot. And we are looking at the past energy. And so we've got the 10 of Gabriel or the 10 of Wands. And this, so I do feel like there was some um, cycle that came to an end. It could have potentially been a relationship. This says, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Um, trying too hard to please others. And we do have the King of Raphael. This is the King of Cups. And this says it is safe to trust. And this is about following your heart. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do feel like for many of you, there is an ending that is either coming up or has already happened. And I do feel like this is romantic in nature um, because the King of Cups is an emotional energy. What else do we need to know for Pisces? In the past, the Two of Pentacles. Um, you know, this is an energy of balance. Um, it's an energy of juggling. So with this coming through on top of the Ten of Wands, I feel like um, there was a lack of reciprocity in the past. You were giving, you were over giving is what I'm sensing. And um, there was a lack of balance in relationship. And it may simply be because you have the belief system that if you don't give, um, you are not worthy of love. Or the more that you give, the more worthy you are of love. Now, we've got the two of wands coming through. And normally, this would be about a decision, really choosing um, you know, which path to move forward on. And this is on top of the two of pentacles. But um, it's interesting because both of these are twos and they both depict two people. Um, you know, and this shows two people working together to build something. So I feel like whatever you were building, um, it uh it ended yeah it ended so this is some sort of relationship um the ten of swords this is about uh feeling betrayed backstabbed let down a very very painful ending and you know i swear this this energy came through for you um in the 
2022 reading. Like there's something that's ending in your life. Um, it could be a partnership um, or it could be that you're just, like I said, energetically letting go of someone. But I do sense that um, this was quite a painful experience in your past. And this is absolutely why the healer of the ages is coming through to help facilitate this healing so that you can move in to more happiness and joy. It was a lesson, not a life sentence. <clears throat> so we've got two more cards coming through for the present energy. We've got the Ace of Michael, which is the Ace of Swords. And I love seeing this because this is like a breakthrough, an aha moment. It is a new beginning. Um, what this says is a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Um, so this is some sort of breakthrough that is coming in. Um, like I said, I do feel that there could be someone from your past that you're wanting to reconnect with. And so this is indicating that communication is going to be very, very important. This is about speaking your truth um, and not holding back. Now we've got the five of Ariel or the five of pentacles. And this is an energy of feeling, you know, left out in the cold, um, like the door has been slammed shut on you. And so the, with this being a present energy, I am just sensing that um, there can be a breakthrough as far as um, the door being closed. And it's interesting because the ton of swords, um, you know, this is a transitional energy because we're ending the past energy with this and then it takes us into the future. And the first card that came through is the ace. So there's an ending which leads to a new beginning. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with two different people. Um, that's, it's not for everybody, but that's kind of a sense that I'm getting. So it's almost like you want to reopen a door. You've been shut out and you want to have a breakthrough. You want to reopen this door. Got the King of Wands. Wow. That, that's a very strong energy. This is really about going through the trials and tribulations, which was indicated by the Ten of Wands coming up in the past energy. It's like learning from all those um, difficulties, all those obstacles. And it's, you know, the kings are about self-mastery. It's like, I've arrived. I've learned those lessons. I'm stronger. Um, you know, I know what serves me. I have a vision for my life. I'm clear. I'm clear about what I want. So I do feel that this confusion is going to be um, healed within you, okay? And you are gonna move into this King of Wands energy. Now, it does not matter if you are a man or a woman, it's just an energy. So please keep that in mind. What else do we need to know for Pisces? Ooh, we've got the Knight of Cups coming through. Um, this is a very romantic energy. It's an energy of being swept off your feet or sweeping someone off their feet. Um, it's very... Um, it's very heartfelt. It's very romantic. Um, it indicates, you know, uh, deep feelings, a deep connection. Um, so with this coming through on top of the King of Wands, um, there could be somebody coming in for you um, or you are wanting to offer someone something. You're wanting to make a romantic gesture, have heartfelt conversations, something like that. It's either you or another person. Um, so I do feel like definitely there is going to be a breakthrough within your romantic life. And we've got the two of cups. 
Um, so beautiful. That is about a love partnership. So whether this is a past person or a new person, um, this, you know, somebody wants to be with you. Somebody wants to have a um, romantic partnership with you. They want to express their feelings. Um, so yeah, wow, great energy in the present. And like I said, you guys, um, just because this is present energy doesn't mean that it's going to happen in December. What I'm really feeling is that it is going to happen next year. Okay. But yeah, I feel like there's a there's a romance coming through. And, you know, if this is a per past person, I feel like things are going to be healed between the two of you. And... I have to take that. The future energy is the Queen of Gabriel. This is the Queen of Wands. We've seen the King of Wands in the present energy. Now in the future, we are seeing the Queen of Wands. And the last card in the present is the two of cups this is the transitional energy that takes us from the present to the future so we've got a match set with the king and queen of wands coming through this is a divine partnership this is a divine counterpart um so yeah there's somebody coming in for you and it's going to be like a match made in heaven and then the other card that came through is the ten of raphael or the ten of cups so i do sense that you are going to be meeting your divine partner in 2022 um this is about love and blessings filling your life harmonious relationships and it is about happily ever after Wow. So we've got the stars coming through. This is one of my most favorite cards in the deck. This is about a deep healing. It's a renewal. And it is, um, you know, the stars are finally aligning to bring in this new romantic cycle after this deep healing occurs. Um, this is about wish fulfillment, and this is on top of the Ten of Cups. These are both about wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. One is a day-to-day -day energy. The other is a spiritual energy. So I feel that there is a huge shift. And oh my gosh, you guys, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Ten of Cups again that's showing up. Lots of cups. Um, now, the next card that came through is the Eight of Cups, and I love this card because this is a card of walking away from, you know, all those shiny things that never panned out, all those shiny things that looked good on the surface but didn't bring you joy, didn't bring you contentment. And so I feel that you are done with that. You're making an incredible internal shift that is just going to change your future. This is a card of evolution. It's a card of walking away from that, which doesn't make you content, um, that doesn't bring contentment, um, that it does not serve you emotionally, spiritually. Um, and it's walking toward that nine and that ten of cups and we see the ten of cups here so very beautiful energy i i just feel like you're ending a very very significant chapter in your life and yeah better days are ahead let's get one more card for pisces and we've got the six of pentacles that we're ending with. And I love this energy because to me, um, this is about a successful partnership. Um, and it is based in the earthly realm. Um, so this is not only a spiritual partnership, but it is like a life partner that's coming in for you. This is about reciprocity. Now, whereas in the past, I feel like you were over giving, you were giving more than you were getting back. That is not going to be the case with this new romantic partner. 
um, it is going to be a true partnership. So very beautiful energies. I hope that you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, um, hit the little bell to be notified when I upload new content. And you guys, I'm sending you so much love as you continue on your journey. Bye.